Lana here and today I just had this random idea to film a hairstyles video for you guys. You guys seem to really actually like hairstyles videos on my channel so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one as well and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I do this kind of thing quite often. If I'm not doing a hairstyles video then I'm doing like curly hair routines and other stuff that I am praying that you guys enjoy because it means the world to me when you guys enjoy my videos. Anyway I'm rambling right now so let's go ahead and get started with the video. So there are three things that you're probably going to need and that is a pintail comb like this one and this is just really going to help you to get those straight lines that you need for this look. I also have a toothbrush and I have some edge control and I'm not really sure why I'm using a sample pack of edge control because I know I have two full tubs of this stuff because I really really love it but for some reason today we're working with the sample. I guess because I was too lazy to grab a tub. That doesn't matter, it's still the same stuff. This is the Kericare Edge Tamer. Ugh. This is all the things that you need pretty much and you need your hair and you need some hats. The first thing that I'm going to do is I am just going to kind of take the top section of my head and just let the other pieces fall down because this gives me a really good idea of where to start separating my hair. And then I want to actually start separating going out like this. and it's gonna go out in a diagonal line, it's not going out completely straight. So you wanna make sure that it's even and it's gonna look like this. And then you wanna start separating the rest of your hair and I'm just gonna separate it kind of where it wants to be separated because if I try to like separate it too much when it doesn't wanna separate, then it's just gonna create a lot of frizz. So I just kind of have to work with my hair and do what my hair wants to do. Right, so I'm gonna tie the rest of my hair away. So that's a silk scrunchie from Satin Line Caps. And I'll link that down below as well because a lot of you guys ask where I get my satin um, line scrunchies from. So I'm going to start doing a voiceover now and I'm sorry because my voice was already bad when I filmed the video and it's gotten even worse overnight and there's going to be stuff in the background too, I'm so sorry. What you want to do next is separate that top piece of hair into three sections because you want three braids. So I just did it in a really rough guideline for myself and then I took the pintail comb and gave myself really straight lines for each section and when I have a section I pin it down with a clip just to make sure that it it doesn't get lost and then I tie the rest of my hair away so the next thing that I want to do is take my edge control and then I just flatten down the edges on each side of the divide I don't want any pieces of hair to be in the braid that aren't supposed to be because they'll make it look not as sharp and they'll kind of ruin the shape that I'm trying to go for so what I can do as well as an extra precaution is take a bobby pin and just slide that into my hair just to hold down the flyaways so then when it comes to braiding I am going to do a Dutch braid or a cornrow an inverted French braid whatever you want to call it so I take three strands right at the top and I do this in such a way that it's going to create like a triangular effect at the top of my head and then I start doing the Dutch braid so with every piece of hair that you take into the middle you bring a piece of hair in and because this is a Dutch braid we're going to do it so that the braid comes out on top which means that you take every piece of hair under the braid and I'm not sure if what I'm saying makes any sense at all. I do have a tutorial on how to do this, which I will link down below, or you can hit the card in the top right hand side of the screen. And that will show you how to do a inverted French braid or a Dutch braid or a cornrow. So yeah, this is how I do it. So I'm doing this super slowly for you guys. So you take a new piece of hair in every time you take a piece of hair into the middle. So you take the outside strand, bring it into the middle with an extra piece of hair. And then you want to go over to the other side. So grab a new piece of hair, combine them together and bring them into the middle. So then I take this piece under, I grab a piece of hair, I combine it with the piece that I'm taking under and then I wrap it. I really hope that that makes sense for you guys. If not, then you can definitely watch my tutorial. It's a full tutorial on how to do these kinds of braids or cornrows and that should really, really help you out. So then I'm going to go ahead and do the middle braid and again I'm just fixing up the edges with some edge tamer. Now the way that I did this you're really not going to be able to see what I did because I kind of did this upside down in a way but this is the way that I get the most definition in my corner. Right? This is how I get it most centered is if I do it this way so I'm really sorry you can't really see what I'm doing right here. So you can just watch me do that and we'll skip to the next one where you can actually see me do the braid. So 
So when I'm done with that one, I just pin it down so that it doesn't come loose and then I get started on the next one. So I'm just fixing up those lines again, making sure they still look nice and straight and sharp. And then I'm going to get started braiding. So I take the three strands at the front and as before, I start taking them under when I put them in the middle. So they go under and into the middle and every time they go under, they take a piece of hair in with them. So now this side is going under and it's going to bring a piece of hair from the outside in with it. So it just keeps going like that and then you go to the next side and take that piece under and grab a piece of hair to put with it. And again, it's going to go under, grab a piece of hair, combine them together and take those under. So that's how to do the cornrow. So you just want to keep doing that right until the end. When you're done that, just pin that one down as well and then you can take the rest of your hair down, fluff it out, make sure it looks nice and voluminous and then we can start laying on the beads. I got these beads from eBay, I think they were really really inexpensive and they got delivered really fast. They do have a bit of a brassy appearance to them so I might buy another set that's like a bit more real gold looking instead of like fake brassy looking. So the first hairstyle that I'm doing is a top knot so I'm just taking the hair that comes out of those braids and I'm just gonna wrap that up into a bun at the top of my head and I'm clipping that down with a butterfly clip and then with the rest of my hair because it started looking a bit frizzy and undefined so I'm taking my Kerry Care hair milk just to give my hair a little bit of added definition again and that is the look Now for style two, I just really wanted to emphasize those cornrows on the top of my head. So I am bringing the hair from the sides of my head round and I'm just pinning those down with a butterfly clip at the back of my head. Now for style three, I wanted to emphasize the volume of my hair. So I'm doing this instead in kind of like a half up, half down. I clipped it up really high on top of my head just to give that extra volume and emphasize the braids at the top. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. It really means the world to me that you guys are still here. You watched this much of the video. And if you are still here, then I just have one last request from you guys and that's if you could just please drop a like on the video and that way I know that I did a good job. And also don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss anything else. I'm on my way to 70,000 subscribers and it just makes me so happy that there's almost 70,000 of you guys that are interested in watching my videos. So if you don't want to miss any of the future ones then don't forget to subscribe and it will just make me so happy. I just, I love every single one of you so much for just watching my videos. It's just incredible. So yeah, if you want to talk to me then you can leave a comment. I try to reply to every single comment that's left on my most recent video. So if it's not this one, it will be like another one. So go check out on my channel if you want to chat to me and I will see you guys in the comments over there. And also of course you can get me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram and I have my Facebook linked down below as well but I don't really use Facebook that much. But I'm really active on the other ones and I try to reply to absolutely everybody. So yeah, I'll see you over on one of those. Thanks again for watching. Bye.